This ghastly stage of things is what you call bunburying, I suppose. Yes. And a perfectly wonderful bunbury it is, too. The most wonderful bunbury I've ever had in my life. Well, you have no right whatsoever to bunbury here. That's absurd. One has a perfect right to bunbury anywhere one chooses. Every serious bunburyist knows that. Serious bunburyist? Good heavens! Well, one must be serious about something if one wants to have any amusement in life. As for your conduct toward Miss Cardia, I must say that your taking in a sweet, simple, innocent girl like that is quite inexcusable. To say nothing of the fact that she is my ward. I can see no possible defence at all for your deceiving a brilliant, clever, thoroughly experienced young lady like Miss Fairfax. To say nothing of the fact that she is my cousin. I want her to be engaged to Gwendolyn. That is all. I love her. Well, I simply want her to be engaged to Cecily. I adore her. There is certainly no chance of your marrying Miss Carter. I don't think there's much likelihood, Jack, of you and Miss Fairfax being united. Well, that is no business of yours. If it was my business, I shouldn't talk about it. It's very vulgar to talk about one's business. Any people like stockbrokers do that, and then merely at dinner parties. How you can sit there, calmly eating muffins, when we're in this horrible trouble, I can't make out. You seem to be perfectly heartless. Well, I can't eat muffins in an agitated manner. The butter would probably get in my cuffs. I'm eating muffins because I am unhappy. Besides, I am particularly fond of muffins. Well, that is no reason why you should eat them all in that greedy way. I wish you'd have some tea cake instead. I don't like tea cake. Good heavens, I suppose a man may eat his own muffins in his own garden. But you've just said it was perfectly heartless to eat muffins. I said it was perfectly heartless of you under the circumstances. That is quite a different thing. That may be, but the muffins are the same. Andre, I wish to goodness you would go. You can't possibly ask me to go without having some dinner. It's absurd. I never go without my dinner. No one ever does, except vegetarians and people like that. Oh, that is nonsense. You never took anything but nonsense. Jack, you're at the muffins again. Andre, I've already asked you to go. I don't want you here. Why don't you go? I haven't quite finished my tea. And there is still one muffin left. Mm -hmm.